Good morning, everybody. We've got to a, uh, well, a house that we've done before, but with a slightly different format to our video here. Just want to point out this glorious stone wall as we're coming down to meet with Sarah. And she will explain what's behind there, that lovely wall. And then we're going to go and have a, a look in just a moment. Okay. So this is one of... The first areas on the house that I call the Zen area is completely separate from the rest of the garden and we've got some decking there and we'll walk around and show you in. But what we've got, what's changed on this property and one of the reasons for us coming back is that we now have another building. I'm not sure, can you see it? Yeah. Because obviously I can't see behind me. Um, so we've got an extension on top which has actually added a completely self-contained unit it's a nice space, high ceilings, with a bathroom. It leads through to the garage. It could be a self-contained apartment or it's actually perfect for an artist studio of some sort. So it actually adds quite a lot to the property. We're going to go in through these doors here. Now, these doors are sliding doors. You can drive your car in and you can park in the garage underneath. It's also a very nice courtyard and the owner tends to drive round and come in at the back where we've got another really lovely walled garden which is surrounded by very high stone walls. Yeah, there's essentially two courtyards to this property, isn't there? Yeah, two courtyards, two little zen gardens and then the garden is very well established. We've got a flat area on the other side of the property. I mean, actually, if you pan that way, you can see the plants coming down. That's that's from the flat area of the garden on the other side of the property. I mean, do we actually, right? Yeah, I think it's worth mentioning that, you know, all the bedrooms are of a really nice size. And in particular, there's one really nice en suite, isn't there? Yeah. And the whole, the whole place has a number of entertainment areas or what could be entertainment yeah. areas and a really nice water feature. Different levels on the property. You want to look at the garden there? We can, we can take it. Yeah, we can take a quick it. look. Yeah. Because obviously we know I've said that and then I'm like, ah, oh, what am I done? Okay. So actually worth mentioning water catching system, guttering, often not done in Portugal. Ah, well, I'll tell you what you can see. You can see the fact that it's completely private. Yeah. Which is major, bonus, perfect. Behind that, there's loads of garden. You can see, well, okay, it's just under a thousand square meters. Citrus trees, lots of flowers, and these have worked really well. They've worked really well, actually, haven't they? At creating. Yeah, they've had a nice barrier. Yeah, a barrier, thank you. Okay, so, you're gonna go through the gate? Well, yeah, but just before we do, yeah. let's take a look from the air. Okay, yes. And I'll take up the, the drone, have a good look around, and today I'm going to narrate about the town of Pombal while we're doing it. Okay, just to point out, the Pombal's about 15 minutes from here. It's more of a city than a town. Uh, you've got Anxiao the other way. Paul's going to point this out, but Pombal is bigger. And um, yes, okay, he'll show you all about those later. Hello again. We will approach the property from the rear. Because the boundaries are complicated, I am going to add a boundary map. At first glance, the property looks hemmed in. But once we get down there, you will see that it has created a unique advantage, a hidden gem if you like. I will add a compass for your orientation and then I'm going to wax lyrical about the wonderful city of Pombal, which is a picturesque town nestled in the heart of Portugal. It exudes a timeless charm that effortlessly blends history with modernity as one strolls through its cobblestone streets an air of sophistication and tranquility envelops the senses offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Portugal's past. The town takes its name from Sebastião José de Covalho e Melo. Really hope I said that right. The, Mar the Marquis of Pombal, a statesman who played a pivotal role 
in shaping Portugal's destiny during the 18th century. Pombal's influence is palpable in the town's architecture, where Baroque facades stand tall next to elegant Rococo flourishes, a testament to the period's architectural opulence. One of Pombal's most iconic features is its medieval castle, perched on a hill that overlooks the town. This imposing fortress once held strategic importance, guarding the territory against potential threats. Now, it offers visitors panoramic views of the charming town below and the surrounding rolling hills. Pombal's historical significance is equally matched by its modern spirit. The town's central plaza, the Praça Marquis de Pombal, buzzes with life as locals and tourists gather to savour local delicacies in quaint cafes and browse through artisanal boutiques. The plaza serves as a meeting point where the town's vibrant culture converges with its storied history. Every corner of Pombal seems to whisper tales of its past, from the narrow alleys that lead to unexpected discoveries to the intricate details adorning centuries-old churches. And while history remains a cornerstone of Pombal's identity, the town has embraced the present with open arms, seamlessly integrating contemporary amenities and conveniences. As the sun sets over the town's terracotta rooftops, casting a warm golden hue across the landscape, one cannot help but be captivated by Pombal's harmonious blend of old and new. It is a place where history lives on in the hearts of its inhabitants and where every stone has a story to tell. Pombal invites travellers to journey through time, savouring the past while celebrating the vibrant spirit that pulses through its streets. And without further ado, we will rejoin Sarah and have a look around. Note the name on the property, Casa Angula, because we have lots of different angles going on. And let's go in. Uh, I like the courtyard. This is, well, if you're going that way, this is going into the downstairs, large downstairs bedroom with obviously your French doors that come straight out onto this courtyard. And are you going to pan around? So that's also a front door, not really used. Steps go up to the upper part of the property, obviously on the inside and the outside. Uh, let's just do it in order then. So this room here is where the tank would go for the central heating. But the central heating was never needed. The house has the pre-installation, uh, but they just use the, the big fireplace and the lounge. They find it perfectly sufficient. So, and again, no, every little area. Do you want to just go and shut that gate? Mm-hmm. No, I was going to say, no, even like the, the houses for the gas tanks and the house for that, everywhere's got guttering. Everything's catching water, so, you, you know, the property is protected, often something that's forgotten. So, you can get a car in here and you can open the door, which is something we questioned. The heights are exactly perfect for being able to do so. Uh, as the stairs go up, but they don't go directly into the room upstairs, the new room. We were going to show you that afterwards. The, the treads are ordered and they're on their way in. I think he's actually already got the treads. Okay. Uh, as also the doors for here. Yeah, so there's an electric gate going on there, electric yeah. door, yeah. Okay. So, I'm, yeah, I guess it'll probably match the others, won't it? It's going to be brown. Unless it turns out that it's red and I've just got that completely wrong. But anyway, um, so once that's doored off, this is actually a really nice area because the stone's been feet pointed up. Nice big window. I always like the contrast. Sometimes it gets too much stone. Yes, look, it carries through, doesn't it? So, should we go in Zen for a minute, my dear? We shall. Gated Zen. You guys just lock me in, didn't you? Go Zen! Zen on your own. Well, I think that is the idea. Right. And we have... The walnut tree's not on this land. 
but you get an amazing supply of walnuts, so you get the best of both worlds, really. Oh, and that's what I was noticing before, is they've actually put an air vent in a stone wall, which is pretty amazing, because usually... Pretty it's damn rare, yeah. And you, hence you get damp in the underneath of stone houses, because people don't bother with that. People are clocking onto it now. So this area here, really private. I think I'd be inclined to put a comfy sofa here and sort of sit and read a book. No, it's a lovely place to sit, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. All you need is the time to do it. Right. And, and I must say that the doorway's a little bit short. <laughs> She's seven foot tall, really. <laughs> I don't think many people consider me tall. So, from Courtyard 1, which is where we are now, shall we enter in through that bedroom? Do you want to go yeah. in there first? You can get a good sense of the size of it. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice sized room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the height. It's not just the height, obviously, it's big, it's got a double bed, it's got a huge wardrobe, big, very nice chest of drawers. But I like, I like the fact that you could have table and chairs out there, you put a shade over. I always think that that should be, I feel like it could be an, you know, an extension of this room. Yeah. I mean, down here, you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom. You could actually, if you were inclined to do so, make this self-contained because this would be your actually this would be your kitchen diner you'd be out there interacting your bathrooms there and your bedrooms at the back it could be easily so if you needed it yeah 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 you know you could have three self-contained units within this property so the next room is the bathroom that's the most amazing height and beautiful tile and the shut door right now <laughs> there you go Oh, I've always loved this bathroom. So oh, we have the wash basin, large shower unit with glass doors, nice big window, but completely private. I'm just going to look out the window. It's got, well, it's frosted anyway. Uh, WC, wash basin, and the heater. Sorry, I'm in the way now, aren't I? Never, darling, never in the way my dear okay so she'll you want to go upstairs first oh well, we've got the room at the end there just up these one two three four five six stairs and then there's the room in front of you again i'll come let me come and open that door for you now this is currently just used as storage but this again is a good size double yeah it's a perfectly good size double yeah yeah, easy, easy. And put your bed there where Paul's okay. So now, if you look out the window, you've just got nice countryside. You put the garden. So, in fact, I can see a double mattress. There's loads of room in here. Yeah, yeah, if tons of room. Put the mattress there. You've got wardrobe. You've got everything. So you could have here nice big bedroom. Ah, oh, guy's perfect actually. Nice big bedroom, bathroom, kitchen diner, access to outside. You've got your own front door. Yeah, yeah. It's completely self-contained. It could it? be completely self-contained, yeah. It depends how many, you know, if you're a big family or a couple. Nice stone stairs, lintels, I don't know if they're called lintels, the edging. And, oh, I've forgotten about the cats. Hello, pretty cat. So, we're into the kitchen here. Now, the kitchen, it's got a lot of doors in this house. That, there's a door there which they don't use, an exterior door, which leads you to the top of the stairs and the new secret room, which I keep promising to show you. And we've got the door to my right here, which goes out to the main garden. Obviously, as you can see behind me, you've got plenty of cooking space, loads of storage above and underneath. Another island... Dining table, fridge freezer, and then we come into your main living area, which is also a good size. The depth of 
the walls. I mean, the depth of the lintels. I mean, it's really big stone walls. They are the big, fat walls. There's yeah, no question about walls. that. So, and the size of the burner explains why they never bothered... With the central heating, yes. I said pre-installation, but actually it's beyond it's that. It's beyond that, yeah. <laughs> the radiators are in. Yeah, apart from the boiler, <laughs> it's all done. Yeah. So moving round from... Yeah, so if that door at the bottom was blocked off, you couple, you couple live here. They live essentially live on this upstairs. You could rent out another very large bathroom, this time with pale tiles. Air vent again, that's good. I'm on my air vents today. Um, large bathtub. Not all houses have bother putting the bathtub out, and I think most people often would like at least one bathtub in the house. There's usually somebody that likes a bath. But large bathrooms. And then to the main bedroom at the end here, again, enormous Huge space. Really yeah, this is a massive bedroom, massive isn't it? Massive bedroom. So, you know, it's a three-bedroom house. But if you wish, this could easily be two one-bedroom apartments. You've got just the nice countryside. It's the road out here. You can't see it from where I'm. I can't see the road. All I can see is the stone walls in the fields. Well, if you want to see the road, you can go and see I'm not going to look at the road. I'm just <laughs> I'm seeing the view. That you couldn't see the road. Okay. And here it's kind of, it's a vaulted ceiling, isn't it? But it's concrete. Yeah, it is a, yeah. Vent, a vaulted ceiling. Yeah. 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 A very high vaulted ceiling. Yeah, very high. Is this... No, I'm going to wish I hadn't said this now. Don't. Let's, just yes, leave it. <laughs> just leave it. But it gives you... You're going to have to go... It might work and it might not. But that's the new bit. It's just that there's a fly net. Yeah. So if it's not working, just keep walking. We'll pretend it didn't happen. It probably works. I just don't want you. Yeah. I, I know what you like. So the flooring's all nice. It's in very good condition still. Um, I've forgotten the name of this. Laminate flooring. It's, it's laminate flooring. But it's in very good condition because the house was built 13, 15 years ago. Something like that. Pale grey and white tiles in the kitchen. Garden? Garden. Garden. Huge well. You've also got water. And I know it's, it's always full. I'm not opening it again. Hello, my love. I'm talking to the cat, not the well, by the way, just in case. Yeah, I, that, I mean, that is a massive well. Huge well. Yeah. Stone. Right. Ow. So I think maybe maybe go left or left to the bottom of the garden, or you wanted to show the odour? No, we can go down. Yeah, most aspects of this garden are very pretty, aren't they? They are, and I mean, I had someone yesterday not wanting me to go and do the garden because it's not at its best. Obviously, we're nearly at the end of August. Things have dried out. Um, it wasn't the gentleman that owns this property here. And I said to him, you know, look, everyone understands that it's summer and we haven't had any rain for a while. But yeah, unless you're, still, unless you're on it all the time. Really, yes. I mean, obviously, you put irrigation. So where Paul's looking now... That's where I said, oh, let's go and have a look at the garden. We realised that the, the reeds, I'm not sure that they're really reeds. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure they are. I can't the proper name. No. But they've completely sealed off and created an enclosed area. And this is what Paul means about lots of different areas here. Again, lending itself to doing rentals if you want to. Because actually, everyone could have a bit of their own garden. Right. You're wandering up to... In fact, normally, there's so much greenery in here. I don't think I've ever walked up this path. Because <laughs> usually it's surrounded by flowers. Yeah, I just wanted to show the different levels because it's the levels in this garden and the property in general 
that gives it the character and the and the feel, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's like a secret garden. It reminds me of my nana's that I used to play in. I don't know why I said nana, she was grandma to me. But anyway. So, we'll head back up. And of course, all the stone. All the walls are stone. Natural stone. So, they add the character and the feel to the property. I don't know if you want to turn that light off. I need to save you a bit of battery. There we go. All right, so I'm following Paul, which is generally how he prefers it to be. Back to the well. So you have year-long water supply. Uh, go on then, Zen 2. He's off on a Zen 2. Oh, I might eat a tomato. He's got some cherry tomatoes here. So that's your little Zen 2 area. Yeah, I thought it was a bit, bit of a strange place to have some decking first time round, but it's actually a really nice place to sit. Very good place to sit and eat figs at the moment. I, mean, uh, I imagine if you did yoga and liked figs, yeah. <laughs> it would be just that's fabulous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the figs are ripe. I think I'm probably not going to get what I am. I'll just eat that when I'm out of shot. Yeah. Right. Um, potting shed. Potting shed, yeah. Again. Always handy. All these like little flower bed areas are just wonderful, aren't they? Mm. Um, <laughs> Can't tell you I'm eating a fruit. <laughs> um, you know the the, the use of it. the use of stone. It's just been great. I I, I really love this garden. Mm. And what have we got here, ah. Sarah? Right. So what we've got here, rather than what we've got here, if it had water in it, would be a fabulous pool. Yeah, apparently it needs a bit of reparation, doesn't it? But yeah, it does. It would make a brilliant fish pond. We, we yet again, I'm going to go back for another fig, I'm sorry, that was really nice. Um, yet again, we've forgotten to ask why. Look, you could, water oh, in look, it. Sarah, figs later. Okay, figs later, sorry. <laughs> butterfly moment. Right. Um, curry plant. The boundary. Oh. Lemon. Oh, gin and tonic, tonic tree. Sorry, lemon tree. A... <laughs> what did you call it? A gin and tonic tree. <laughs> right, so the boundary is the back wall there. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's the neighbour on the other side, which some people, I might, I might as well just say it, some people would think that that was off-putting. They, oh, they look over me. But actually, she's just a lovely lady who does her gardening and brings you vegetables and appreciates the fact that you keep your garden lovely as well. So here we are, oh, let's see. I don't know if I, uh, is it unlocked yet? Yet another, I'm going to come out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yet another tool shed, storage yeah. area. Gardening room. So you've got, you've got on one side. In fact, hang on a minute. Look, that's the potting shed through there. Yeah. You were really small. <laughs> You're like a hamster or something. <laughs> uh, so we've got garden tools and potting shed on the other side of it, and then here we've got the own stone area. Yeah, I'll just step outside the boundary. Yeah. And the boundary is, it is unusual to have, but it's kind of defined as well because the boundaries across here. However, if, and the neighbours have never had, had, had an issue with it at all, the owner of this property is able to bring a vehicle up if he wants to because there's a driveway yeah. there. So, you know, when he was doing building work or... He's creating some, some garden features and building some walls, most of which, of course, are done now. But when he was, he was able to just bring up a truck full of stone and cement and stuff. So the same thing could happen again. This is an area he doesn't seem to use. Again, you've got the views. Have you got the views? 
Not quite sure, but hey, each to their own. Well, actually, it's so nice in the garden. But if you want to take Yeah, you kind of forget view. that you can walk up here and yeah. drink in some yeah. really long distance views. Yeah, he's thinking gin and tonic, isn't he? So yeah. The lemons are just there. So we have a nice table and chairs here. Oh, oh no, hang on. Table and chairs. Oh no, the barbecue's over there. I was going to say you can make a little barbecue area, but we don't need to. No. One. There's got multiple entertainment areas. I mean, you could yeah. Yeah. have a party with like six different settings, couldn't you? Perfect. People you don't want to talk to, you can just put in the <laughs> area. Palm off away from the gin and tonic tree. <laughs> that won't be you. All right. S I'm going to follow you. Okay. And I'll try and not get lost. Will you notice if I can get a fig? She'll get one later. <laughs> no, we're here. We're at the bread oven. Okay. We well, are. I've given up on the fig. I'll go back. Yeah, I'm just showing. I'm just showing from different angles. Yeah, it's really you know, just how garden. pretty this garden really is. Yeah. And then, so we're just entering into a large covered area. So, we have. I take it you've just got that bread oven in. Yeah, I you've did. Done the bread oven, and yet another. That's actually that's another area. Pr prime for planting because yeah I mean, obviously there is a lot of rock in this property do you know what it kind of it kind of reminds me of the dingle in shrewsbury you know with all the little sort of rockeries yeah, and everything yeah. you yeah. could plant this out with a blaze of uh, of color couldn't you now if you turn right here i'd like you to just go to the top of the steps and have a look down at the courtyard where we started Mm -hmm. Yeah, how that sort of ties it in. Yep. Yeah. So we turn round and you're going to get the view of the enormous stone wall courtyard at the rear of the property. Yeah. So it's also the gates open at the moment. Uh, we'll show you where that boundary is. I mean, but, take, take a look at these walls. Yeah. They're walls. fabulous, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I just love them. And the neighbours have very kindly provided huge walls without windows for your, for your own courtyard. Luxury. It's really nice. Okay. Ah! Ooh. Hi, follow my feet. Weather is just to point out in case someone says, I can see a window. Okay, you're not allowed to put glass in it. All right? Yeah, by law. Yeah, by law. And this, this is going to stay open. This <laughs> is where your boundary is. Okay, so this is where the owner of this property drives in and out, the general access. It just leads back down onto the main road around the front there. It's here, okay? So, oh, what haven't we shown you? Actually, that's quite a good... There's so many different roof lines here, but it's great. We haven't shown you the new part. No. Oh, and... I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. Just stood here. Well, we, we, we asked him to move the car so we could get better access into the new part and we could explain what the possibilities were. Okay, but also I realised at the time that this is a perfect spot for some decking and an above ground pool if you wanted to. You know, this is a big enough and it's a three bedroom house. So if you've got kids, you want a pool, then you can easily. You this could probably. Is build this is one of the spots you could do it. Yeah. One right there. Anyway, there's room for a pool. Getting carried away with the pool thing. So behind, I think you just stay there. I'll just show. Oh, you can do it from the other side. You just yeah, go. yeah, yeah. In fact, I'll pop out. Yeah, it's basically a wood store. Yeah, wood store, <laughs> cement barrel at the moment. But obviously, well, there's lots of storage, though, isn't there? Because you've got the underneath yeah, tons. garage. Yeah, yeah, potting sheds, potting workshops, sheds, gardening workshop. sheds. So. 
area here now has got a different possibilities because let's go through to the end room and come back because then I think we can explain yeah. ourselves. Yeah, it'll be easier to explain that way. Yeah, yeah, let's do it this way. So this didn't exist before. And lovely big window. And the window is actually arriving on the 15th. Yeah. I was about to say, everything will be finished. Yeah. So it's going to be wood panelled on the inside. Yeah, tongue uh, and groove. There's bathroom here, which will just have um, a WC and a wash basin. Or, no, shower, shower WC and a wash shower, basin. Shower WC and a wash basin. Yeah. Electrics are in. Plenty of light. Nice height. So this could be a bedroom. And this is what we're getting to. This could be, again, if you want self-contained units, we've now suddenly realised that the house could have three. It could be a bedroom, it could be a kitchen and lounge area. But I also get lots of requests from artists or craftspeople who want to have a separate space where they can use as a studio. And this is perfect for it. It's also many people working from home, there are benefits to leaving your front door, even if you only walk 10 metres to a different building um, and going to work. Again, it works. It's completely self-contained. Yeah, you haven't, got that, you haven't got that pesky washing up to distract you, have you? Yeah, which is what happens to me all the time. Terrible at working at home. There's just about nothing that doesn't distract you, does it? This would make a great kitchen, wouldn't it? Yeah. Work surfaces, glass front, dining table. Yeah, a little kitchen diner would be perfect, kitchen, wouldn't it? Kitchen diner, lounge. Yeah. I mean, insulate the roof and plasterboard, or actually, or yeah. put timber in there. Let's enclose that. Put yeah. a sofa in there, or put a dining table. And big patio doors. Yeah, patio doors behind you. Yeah. And you've got another property again. Yeah. We're getting carried away. I don't know where I'm going, really. Like, I'm in here now. Okay. Okay, do you want to summarise? We're about time for a summary, aren't we? I think, I think we are, yeah. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, yeah, there's the, the pixie hole. So, yeah, this is what I described as a little sort of pixie dungeon. Right, so the stairs... Come in, is your light on? The stairs that I'm not about to just dive down in some sort of... Okay. Yeah, those are the metal stairs you oh, saw yeah. from the garage, yeah. Yeah. And this is where they come into. And, yeah, me and my stone, but look, unfortunately, you know, you're only going to see them when you go up and down the stairs. But there's so much stone here, it doesn't matter. So this is interlinked, but also separate so that this apartment behind me is completely self-contained. And this will just be storage or garage unit. Okay? Can I get out of here now? You can. So in summary, we have... A three-bedroom, two-bathroom home with large kitchen diner, big wood burner, central heating's in if you want it, but there's no boiler because they never needed it, but literally the radiators are there. We have large walled private courtyard with car access. We have a smaller private courtyard, whew, courtyard with car access at the bottom. We have really the proper zen area. Then we have the zen and fig area. Then we have the area and the workshop and the potting shed. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? With the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The possibility shed? of a self-contained yeah. apartment. You, you, if you wanted to. Yeah. Or an art uh, studio or whatever you yeah, wanted the, it to the, be. Yeah. There's, there's three separate units you could create here if that's what you wish to do. Or... It's an amazing family home. Someone, parents who work from home, so many people are digital nomads now. You've got the space to do it. So I hope that this has been beneficial. I think it's been great. I, I can see so much more potential with the property now. So, gosh, I'll show it to you. Come and do some viewings. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time.